whole collection has stinking adorable names. Stinking adorable. Gosh. Barbie pink. Barbie pink. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a really exciting video for y'all today. I have got the Wet n Wild Summer 2016 collection to show you guys today. This is called the Lost in the Wildflowers collection. So I've got pretty much everything in the collection. I didn't get every single nail polish color, but everything else I have to show you. So I'm gonna run through everything, show you swatches, tell you what I'm thinking about them, and just kind of give you a little overall review and swatch fest on this collection. So let's get to it. Okay, first starting with the nail polishes, and just FYI, I found this whole collection at Walgreens. I was so excited. I walked in, I was looking around, and the sweet girl that was there, her name's Melissa. Thank you so much, Melissa, if you happen to be watching this. Thank you, you were awesome. She asked me if I was looking for anything, and I told her, oh, I'm actually looking for this collection. She said, I think we might have that. So she went to the back, found the whole display thingy, showed it to me, I got to pick everything out. It was amazing. So anyway, Walgreens is where I found this collection. So these nail polishes, these are $1.99 each. I just got two of them. I think there are two more in the collection, a green one and a purple one. So I am wearing both of these today. The kind of like orangey, reddish sort of color is called Poppy Culture. Really, really cute name beautiful color i think just so fun for summer and then this one is cherry blossom on top really pretty kind of like pinky color these were so nice to apply they're like just that perfect combination of being not too thick where it's goopy and weird and not too thin where it pools too much it was like perfect consistency on them it has like a glossy finish i did put a top coat over the top to help it like last longer but they were great, great formula, love the colors. Then there are three different shades of these Mega Glow Multi Sticks and these were $3.99 each. So I'm actually wearing the lightest color and kind of like the pinky color today. Um, I do have things on top of them, so they're there, but you're probably seeing more of the powder products I have layered on top of them. Like I do have the powder highlight, which I'm about to show you in a second which is amazing. But anyway, these are really awesome too. I love these. So this lightest color is called Marigold Round. This whole collection has stinking adorable names. Stinking adorable. So there is Marigold Round. So it's kind of like a slightly pinky champagne sort of a highlight. It is really, really beautiful. Love it. Something I did notice about these is that like the first pass, I didn't notice a ton of pigmentation, but literally like after the second one, it's like it builds on itself really nicely. So just kind of know that about it. I think it's also, you kind of have to like get into the product a little bit, but I mean, you can see it there. It has really good pigmentation, but it just might not be like the first pass when you put it on your skin. But I think it was really easy to work with. I think it blended into the skin nicely love these so that was marigold round then the slightly kind of peachy pink toned one is called light up my hibiscus i'm gonna say this on every single one that's that name is so cute i mean they are just so cute like i love it i think wet n wild is really creative with their collections so there is that one beautiful color I love it. Light Up My Hibiscus is a gorgeous color. Like I said, I am wearing this one today, but I do have something over it. So it's kind of there, but then it's kind of a little bit changed by what I have over it. I'm wearing um, Dandelion Dew and Dandelion, the regular powder one from Benefit. So I think it all pairs nicely together, but this has a really nice glow to it. I think it does work by itself, but you're gonna be super glowy if you wear this on your cheeks especially if you bring in this one too. <laughs> and then lastly is Carnational Anthem, or I guess Carnational Anthem, kind of however you wanna say it, but I'm guessing it's supposed to be like a carnation. So Carnational Anthem. This one is kind of like a, I don't know, like an orangey, peachy sort of a color. Really, really nice too. So this one would definitely be more kind of a blush color, like a really nice, warm, peachy blush color for the summer. I think that would be great. These honestly remind me quite a bit of the Maybelline um, cream stick sort of blushes, like how they work and how they perform and how nicely pigmented they are. They remind me a lot of those, but these are more affordable and 
I love these colors. And the things that seem to be getting a lot of buzz are the Mega Glow Highlighting Powders. These were $3.99 each, and there are two different colors. The lighter one is called Precious Petals, and the darker one is called Crown of My Canopy. I am wearing both of these today. The lighter one I have on kind of like, well, actually, I have the lighter one on my cheekbones and also on my eyes. But I had started out wearing the darker one, and it wasn't on my eyes. And it just wasn't like as what bam bright amazing as I was hoping it was going to be at least on my eyes so that's when I brought in the lighter one and then it was a little bit more what bam something I was hoping for so anyway precious petals is just I love the design in these really a pretty design kind of like a leafy I don't know at all I, I think it's supposed to look like leaves but it almost looks aquatic to me like a coral reef or something like that but anyway I love a little you know design on it so Precious Petals is just your traditional, yet not really traditional because it's so pretty and I, I don't, it's not boring. So I don't want you to think traditional boring, but like just your amazingly gorgeous champagne sort of a highlight, but it's got a lot of warmth to it. So it's almost borderline rose gold. So I would say if you are lighter complected than I am, this collection, these highlighters may a be a little bit difficult for you to pull off because even this one is borderline too dark for me and the other one is going to be too dark for a highlighter for me because they just have that kind of warmth to them, that sort of like rose goldy tone and the other one does even more so. But I mean, it's beautiful. It's like champagne, it's golden, it's rosy, it's just beautiful. It's got a lot of metallic sheen to it. I love it. Blends into the skin beautifully. It's worn really well. I don't notice these wearing away. Really like the formula on them. The darker one, Crown of My Canopy, is just a really beautiful, it's a rose gold, but it's kind of more on the like coppery bronzy side. So this one is going to be so pretty for deeper complexions. I mean, that is just going to be a gorgeous, amazing summer glowy highlight color on you. Oh my gosh, like look at that. They're amazing. They blend into the skin beautifully. They've worn really well. I don't notice them wearing away throughout the day. They layer really nicely with these, so I love them, highly recommend these two. And then lastly, we have the Metallic Liquid Lipsticks. These were only $2.99. There are six different colors, so I'm gonna run through them with you. First is Peony Express. Then we have, my tulips are sealed, like tulips like the flower, super cute. Then we have Coming Up Roses. Look at that beautiful red, what? I'm gonna show you these on my lips in just a second. And then we have Chrysanthemum's The Word. Love that, Chrysanthemum's The Word. Then Days of Fuchsia Past. Gosh, Barbie Pink. Barbie Pink, yes. And then this one is Indigo Your Own Way. Really fun purple. This first one, Peony Express, might be my favorite of all of them. This is just a beautiful, just like metallic, pinky, peony color. I mean, yeah, peony is a perfect word for it. It is so pretty. I feel like it's a really nice one because it's like an everyday color, but then it's got that metallic sheen to it. So it makes it something special and something kind of different. So love that about it. Just a really, really sweet, color. This next one, my tulips are sealed. This one is kind of more of a like metallic coral color. So it's got quite a bit of like a golden sheen to it, but it's still sort of like that, just that like peachy coral sort of a shade. So it's still slightly neutral, but then that gold sheen really kind of makes it a statement sort of a lip, you know, like if you were wanting to go full on metallic, I feel like this one is full on metallic because that golden sheen really, really shines through, but it's really pretty. And oh my goodness, this one coming up roses is just a gorgeous like raspberry pinky red. I mean, it is like a statement lip. This, this is gorgeous. And it really like has a very subtle metallic finish to this one. I feel like it just has more of that like duochrome-y like shift between kind of a, a raspberry pink and a red. So it's not like it's 
super golden or anything like that. So I feel like this one's still a statement fun lip, but not crazy, crazy metallic and hard to pull off. This one is so cute too. Chrysanthemums the word. This is like a light, it's a Barbie pink too. I mean, let's be real, it's a Barbie pink, but it's not crazy dark fuchsia. So it's sort of that more bubblegummy pink, but not crazy light either. You know what I mean? It's still pretty bright though, and it's amazing. If you like Barbie colors, I think you would really like this one. It has sort of like a, I don't know, like a peachy sort of a sheen to it. Really, really like this one too. So it's probably no surprise that Days of Fuchsia Past was the first color that I put on my lips when I got these home because this is totally the kind of color that I love. Because it's a bright pink, but it's got a little bit of purple in it. It's a fuchsia. It's gorgeous. It's a Barbie color. I love it. This one has mm, kind of like a... I don't even know what the sheen would be, how it would describe it. It just looks kind of more shiny. It has a little bit of like a lighter pink sheen to it, almost that purpley kind of sheen to it. Really, really fun. Love this one. This last one, Indigo Your Own Way, is the only one that I'm not like totally blown away by. Um, part of it's the color that it's a purple that I, you know, I just don't wear purples as often, but also it's, it's a little bit more sheer than the other ones, so it does build on itself, but it's just a little bit more difficult to build up. Um, I still do like it, but it's just not quite as amazing as the other ones. So if I had to eliminate one from the group, that would probably be my least favorite, but they're all still really pretty. Now, as far as the formula goes on these and just what I think about them, first off, I love the applicator on them. It's a doe foot applicator pretty much exactly like the Dose of Colors one. So it's kind of more of the angled with almost a little like scoop in it. And it's kind of that more like soft, fluffy sort of an applicator. So I really do like the applicator on it. It makes it really easy to apply. I think these are really comfortable on the lips. These are not the set down to a complete dry, not gonna move, transfer resistant type of a formula. These kind of feel like a lip lacquer, like right in between a lip gloss and a lipstick. So they have that sort of like thicker gloss feeling on the lips. Um, they do get on your teeth, so be careful about that. Do the little thing to prevent that and kind of check your teeth every so often. So that's something to note, but I just find that they're really comfortable. I find that they wear away nicely. They don't do the weird like, you know, wear away just in the middle half of your lips sort of situation. If you eat, they are gonna wear away, but I just really like them because I feel like they're kind of far less high maintenance. They're much more low maintenance than a liquid lipstick and they're a lot more comfortable, but I think they're just so pretty, really, really fun colors. I'm loving these. And at $2.99, yes, I would love if Wet n Wild would make these permanent. So I just tried to wipe those off my hand with some makeup remover and it reminded me that these do have a little bit of a stain, especially the brighter colors like the red and the fuchsia. I noticed that these tend to leave behind a little bit of a stain, but even this one, as like the main part of it wore away, there was still a little bit of a stain or a little bit of color left. So while it is kind of like, it does wear away a little bit, some of it stays behind, so it does still give you a little bit of color on your lips, so I really like that about them. So you can probably already tell from the whole video, but I absolutely love this collection. Like, I love Wet n Wild's regular line, but their limited edition collections just make me extra happy. Like, they just come out with such great products in their limited edition collections that I just love them. Like, I wish they would make a lot of these things permanent because they're so good. So. I have a hard time picking favorites, but if I had to pick favorites, I love Peony Express. I love the lighter highlighter powder. I really like the um, kind of peachy pink blush stick, but well, and I love the nail polishes too. So 
really I enjoy the whole line and I would highly recommend the whole line to you guys. So hope that you really enjoyed this video and hope it was helpful for you. Please hit a thumbs up if it was. Let me know down below if you have spotted this collection, if you picked up some goodies from it, what are your favorite things that you are trying out. If you are still on the hunt for it, let me know that too. Happy hunting. If you guys have any questions for me, just let me know that down below. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!